we are into our 75th year of uh, independence we are your uh, we are celebrating uh, uh, what the prime minister has called amrit mahotsav azadi ka amrit mahotsav when you see public property being burnt in the name of say agnipat protest or some other protest or some other reason does that worry you see this whole culture is a pre independence hangover we were burning things at that time because we thought it belongs to the british even then it belongs to us it's with our money it was happening uh well we did that anyway but <laughs> in the post independent era after 75 years if we still think we can burn our own country and make it look like a war zone when we don't have a war some of the images on the television uh when i'm seeing i don't know whether i'm looking at ukraine or india it was looking like that it's so large scale i'm yes. saying So this is senseless everybody no matter what issue you have we have issues all right yeah. you say you think it's this way i think it's another way we'll have issues it's okay but we can debate we can argue we can hmm. this way television yeah. uh, platforms are there where you can fight <laughs> it's no more a debate we can fight <laughs> on the no television problem, yes physical, you can do all that problem. you can do all that but you can't just go about burn my property i'm saying my property because national property i always believed is my property hmm. i still experience everything that belongs to this nation as mine because this is my nation hmm. all right i don't know where you come from do you even belong to this country i wonder because the scale at which you're destroying public property national property what is your idea and you say you want to join the army also i don't know whether you agree or disagree i don't know the policy well for me to comment on this mm. i don't know what is agnipath policy in detail so i don't wish to comment on that mm. but whatever your issue with any issue correct you cannot burn public property it belongs to people mm. it belongs to us maybe you're burning it because you not paid a rupee of tax in your life for me it hurts yeah it does oh. and private property also i whenever i see those two wheelers being burnt i know in this village if somebody wants to buy a two wheeler which cost 70 80000 rupees yeah. it's his life's work correct he's taken a loan on top of it you just pick up somebody's two wheeler and just burn it where do you come from yeah it's just it's just unacceptable is it also because this concept of nationhood is lacking uh, in this generation or amongst all of us we all think about ourselves but we don't think of ourselves as a nation see first. even if you think of yourself why you why are you you are not somebody who's got a rolls royce for yourself mm -hmm. you also go in that bus and train you burn the train and what are you going to do walk on the track is it hmm. <laughs> what is it <laughs> this is just senseless reaction mm -hmm. and i don't think this is people these are vested interests who are organized in a certain way for whatever reasons mm -hmm. uh but this this must be done in the country see in united states for example mm. if you're driving on the street by accident you lost control yeah. and you hit the side barrier and the barrier broke maybe your child died maybe your wife died maybe your husband died but you have to pay for the lost barrier for the damaged barrier do you understand yeah i got it even if life is gone you will have to pay for the barrier gone by the public barrier that you damaged accidentally got it this is why their infrastructure is so fantastic out there hmm. here uh, what is the point uh, making new trains new buses when your intent is to burn hmm. walk anyway go in a bullock cart of course you'll burn the bulls and bullock cart also there's another question which i'd like to ask you because you have traveled many countries in a very short period of time and you've met people from different countries and you have also traversed continents Do you get a sense that there is a narrative which India is trying to break that is against India which and it is a responsibility of all of us as Indians to ensure that the right India is projected to the world are we somewhere uh, unable to do this and when we do something like this back home when we burn our own property when we disturb it see those visuals does that hurt us those yes deeply hurt us because those visuals will get embedded in everybody's mind those trains burning it's not a simple visual okay people get terrified india is not a place to go mm. i will tell you 
See, though the statistics say something totally different, mm. the number of rapes in United States per, uh, what do you say, uh, in terms of population is way higher than in India, all right? But uh, somebody that I know very well, this is a mm. family that I know very well in Greece and I stay with them when I'm there. So this lady wants to come and visit the yoga center. All planned, tickets booked, everything. Then uh, one day she calls me and she says, uh, Sadhguru, and she's crying on the phone, I can't come. I said, why? Uh, she says, my husband is not letting me go. I know him also well. Uh, I said, why is he not letting you go? She says, he, he thinks if I go to India, I'll be raped. <laughs> I said, who, who is telling you this? There's no such thing. No, no, it's all in the news. Mm -hmm. So we must know what we're talking about. In the name of activism, you just project the country in such a bad way. See, India is the least police state in the world. Yeah. If you call police, they'll come after two days. <laughs> in spite of that, there's no crime here yeah. because people are of a certain kind. Yeah. But in 1.3 billion people, will people rob, rape, murder? Yes, they do. Unfortunately, they do. Mm. But we are not on the same scale. If you have no police in New York City, you must see what will happen in three days. Correct. We saw during the pandemic. Yes, you saw. So, this projection is, I think, very manipulated or ignorant. Hmm. Both ways it's happening. So, people have a weird image of India, it's like this, it's like that, because these kind of images. So, they have no sense of what will happen internationally, but what I see is these same people, mm. when they get employed in other countries, suddenly they're very disciplined, they follow yeah. all the rules. I saw that too. They, <laughs> they think India is a free country, they can burn what they want. Uh, free country means we create what we want, mm. we don't burn whatever we feel like. Mm. And uh, at least, uh, see, we sing, Sare jaha hai achha. Please, uh, all these people must be, we must make, at least tourism videos are already ready of each nation. Show all this and let's make our country better than that, rather than just singing a song.